Hey, this is Scott Meir from PV Electronics, and today I want to go over one of my favorite features in Revolver 4, and that is the ACT audio cloning technology modules. Uh, the ACT modules are found in both the input section and the output section of Revolver. Today we're going to concentrate on the input ACT module. And what the input ACT module does is it transforms the sound of your current instrument, the one you're playing or recording, and makes it sound like another instrument. So, for example, you can make your electric sound like an acoustic. You can make your guitar with single coils sound like a guitar with humbuckers. You can make your bass sound like another specific bass. Or even you could make your bass sound like a banjo and really come up with, you know, new and interesting sounds. So we have created um, these target profiles by analyzing specific instruments and, and we capture really the whole essence of that instrument. So that's, you know, this, the combination of strings and pickups and, and body wood and, and how you play um, and that sort of thing. So once we create the profiles, they're available uh, in Revolver. Now to use them, it's it's a two-step process. One, first we have to profile the actual instrument that you're playing, and then once we do that, we can apply we can then apply the target profile to your instrument. So I'm going to go over that process. The first step in the process is to uh, profile your instrument, and in the ACT module, in the sound profile section, you'll see a drop down for source profile and a drop down for a target profile. The source profile is your instrument and you'll see the default is record new profile. So if I were to select, try to select a target profile, it'll ask me to profile the uh, your instrument. And uh, when you profile your instrument, to, for it to be really effective, you wanna try and hit as many notes as possible across as much of the you know uh, frequency uh, range of y of your instrument. So let's go through that process right now. So I have record new profile selected, and I'm going to hit target profile, and it's going to bring up this window. So the window is waiting for me to play. It's listening for me uh, to start playing, and and once I do, it's going to start profiling. So that's uh, that's going to look like this. Okay, so it has created the profile of my instrument. Now, it's going to give me the option to name that profile so it can be saved and I can refer to it later instead of having to record a, a, a new profile every time. So I'm going to give it a name. Test 1. And done. At that point, it brings up the window of all of our target profiles. Okay, so I'm playing a PV Millennium uh, four-string bass with passive pickups, and I want it to sound like a bass with active pickups. So I'm going to go into this list of available target profiles, and I'm going to choose a profile of this well-known bass with um, active pickups that was played with a pick. To apply the profile, I just hit this green arrow button here and done. And now the profile is applied to my instrument. Up at the top of the ACT uh, module, you'll see this ACT enable, and that'll allow you to toggle back and forth and, and between having the uh, profile enabled and, and, and disabled. So you can hear the difference uh, there. Now in the ACT window you have a few options. You have an effect blend and that lets you mix between 100% of the target profile or you can add more of your source instrument in and mix between the two. There's an EQ section where you can kind of fine tune your, your tone there. 
Now down at the bottom, you'll see this button that says ask to reprofile on preset load. Now what that button is for is if you create a preset and you uh, use the input act module and you save the preset by having this button uh, engaged, whenever you load that preset again, it's going to ask you if you want to reprofile or use an existing profile that you've already created. Uh, and the reason for that is if you're like me and you have a lot of instruments and I kind of like to give all my instruments a little attention, when I load that preset again, I may be using a different instrument. And that reminds me that for it to be effective, I would need to either reprofile that instrument or choose a, a profile I've maybe already created for that instrument or if I'm using the same instrument that I created the preset with. I can choose that one in the drop down. One thing to note if you have a preset that came from, say, a bundle or you got it from the um, Revolver Amp Store, those presets will default to asking you if you want to reprofile your instrument or choose a profile. And that looks like this it'll bring up a dialog window where you can choose either a pre recorded profile. There you see the test one we just created or to record a new profile. And uh, it has an option if you don't want it to ask you every time you, you load those presets, you can uncheck that box. Okay, so that is our overview of the Input Act module. Next time we'll look at the Output Act module. Uh... In the meantime, I hope everyone really gets a chance to um, or takes the opportunity to, to really put act through its paces. I think it's a fantastic addition to the uh, tool set found within Revolver that that combined all help us find that elusive, you know, personal signature sound that we're all looking for. Going forward, make sure you keep an eye out in the Revolver Amp Store uh, for new ACT content, we'll be releasing a steady stream of both input and output uh, profiles. In the meantime, we'd like to thank all of our users for the continued support of Revolver. Uh, Till next time, take care. <laughs>